so hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video we will cover problem guess the string from round 130 so let's get started also the problem is interactive yeah. so in the problem we have been given a string a, a hidden string whose length is up to 1000 so its length is uh, let, let's call it n here n is less than or equal to 1000 and the string is hidden uh, so we uh, we also have been given two types of queries that we need to use to guess string is uh, first of all there is query one in which we can pass an index and it will give us the character or, or the alphabet that is present at the given index so it will if we pass it index it will give us a soft index uh, similarly there is a query of type two in which we can pass a range uh, l comma r and it will give, give us a number of a number of unique alphabets that are present in the given so number of unique alphabets in the given range uh, i will show this using u of l comma r going forward so if you anywhere see u of l comma r it will mean the number of unique alphabets in the given range right so we can at most use 26 queries of type 1 in at most we can at most use 26 queries of type 1 and we can uh, at most use 6000 queries of type 2 and using these many queries uh, we have to guess the string s yes. and as you see here we have at most 26 queries of type 1 and it is equal to the number of that is in the english alphabet right it is equal to the number of characters in the english alphabet that is a to z so it means that you have to uh, use each query of type 1 to uniquely identify alphabet so you have to use each query of type 1 to uniquely identify an alphabet you will see how it works later right and i will explain it to you uh, right so let's see how we can solve this also whenever you are trying to solve an interactive problem whenever you encounter an interactive problem the uh, very first things that you should think about are binary search and randomization and randomization these are the very two basic algos that are used for solving interactive problems most of the time Right, so if you are trying to solve an interactive problem, very first thing that you, you should think about are these two algos. So uh, let's see how we can solve this and if we have to use any of these algos in the problem. Right. So let's try and solve this. We will try to guess the string from left to right. We will try to guess the string from left to right. So let's assume we have all we have already guessed the string from 0 to i minus 1 assume we have already guessed s of 0 to i minus 1 and now we have to guess s of i now we have to guess s of i right. so how can we uh, so how can we solve this so here is 0 to i minus 1 here is the character s of i that we need to solve now so as we have solved 0 to i i minus 1 we we already have we, we already have enough information about 0 to i minus 1 so you can easily find u of 0 comma i minus 1 that is the number of number of unique alphabets number of unique alphabets in range 0 to i minus 1 as we have already guessed the string from 0 to i minus 1 you can easily find u of 0 comma i minus 1 and then you can ask a query of type 2 you can ask a query of type 2 on the range 0 to i and it and it will give you the value of u of 0 comma i and then you can compare these two you can compare u of 0 comma i minus 1 and u of 0 comma i uh, to get some information about s of i right you can you, you can compare these two to get some value uh, uh, to, be, to get some inf information about s of i so first of all if u of 0 comma i minus 1 is not equal to u of 0 comma i that is if they are not equal then you can say that s of i is appearing for the first time in this string then you can say that s of i is appearing for the first time in this string right and as s of i is appearing for the first time in the string you don't have any information about s of i uh, it means that it can be any 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 new letter right it can be uh, for example if you have seen abc 
in the in in zero to i minus one, the new character s of i can be d e f g h. You have no information about s of i, right? So you have to waste the query of type one here to guess s of i. So uh, if s of i is new in the string and you have not seen it, uh, is seen it, you will use a query of type one here. So you will use a query of type one on i to guess s of i, right? When you use a query of type one on index i, it will give you the value of s of i. So now you know the value of s of i, right? So that was the case when u of zero comma i minus one is not equal to u of zero comma i. So let's move on to the second case now, when u of zero comma i is equal to equal to u of zero comma i minus one. So in that case, if this thing is something like this. U of zero comma i minus one is equal to U of zero comma i. Now here's your S of i. So it uh, and now these two are equal. So now you can see that it means that S of i is appearing somewhere from zero to i minus one. So it means that you have seen S of i somewhere. You have seen S of i somewhere from zero to i minus one. So S of i is occurring from somewhere to zero of i minus one. And you have already guessed the string. You have already guessed the string from zero to i minus one. So now you have to use this information somehow. You have to use this information to try and guess s of i now. Right? So how can we uh, do that? So see that. So now you you have to use the information from zero to i minus one to try and guess s of i. So when so when we are guessing zero uh, to i minus one, we will say the last occurrence of every alphabet. When 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 we are guessing the string, when we are guessing the string, zero to i minus one, we will store last occurrence of every alphabet. Last occurrence of every alphabet, and then use this to guess s of i, and then use this to guess s of i. How can we use this to guess s of i? I will show you using an example. So let's take an example. Let's assume there are there are only five alphabets from zero to i minus one. Let's assume there are only five five alphabets from zero to i minus one. Right? Let's assume they are A, uh, B, C, Z, and let's say D. And they are uh, the last index where a is occurring is i one. Let's say uh, similarly for b it's i two, for c it's i three, for z it's i four, for d it's i five. And now we have to guess s of i. Now we have to guess s of i. So how can we do that? Let's see. So I will I will I will save these indexes as I told you, right? I I will save these indexes. And I will start iterating at these indexes from the right. I will so I will start in, iterating these indexes from the right. So first of all, I will iterate at i five. For now, let's assume that my s of i is equal to c. My s of i is c. Let's say assume that for now, and I will show you how you can confirm that s of i is equal to c. So I will start iterating from i five, right? I start iterating from i five. And for every index i x, for every in index i x, I will uh, I will ask a ask a query, right? For every index i x, I will compare two things. I will compare u of I will compare u of i five comma i and u of i five comma i minus one. I will compare u of i five comma i and u of i five comma i minus one. So if you see here, the last index of c is i three, right? Last index of c is i three. So there is no c from i five to i. So there is no c between i five and i. Right? So you can say that you can, you can e easily say that uh, u of i five comma i is equal to u u of i five comma i minus one plus one, right? Because there is no c between i five and i, and c is appearing for the first time at index s of i for the following uh, substring, right? So you can see that. Uh, so you can uh, say that uh, u of i five comma i is equal to u of i five comma i minus one plus one, or you or 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 you can say that u u of i five comma i is not equal to u of i five comma i minus one. 
similarly you can make make an argument for i4 right similarly you can say that u of i4 comma i is not equal to u of i4 comma i minus 1 right but for i3 in case of i3 we know it's a c here right we know it's a c here and in this case if you find u of i3 comma i minus 1 and u of i3 comma i they will be equal right they will be equal so if u of i3 comma i is let me write better u of i3 comma i is equal to equal to u of i3 comma i minus 1 so if the following condition holds you can say that s of i is equal to s of i3 right you know that it is c now because now they are equal and i will i was showing you here that if they are not equal then you can say that the uh, characters are not equal right so when you see the following equal con condition you can say that yeah we have seen this uh, the current character is equal to the character that we are comparing it with right so you can use uh, these queries and you can compare u of so in general you can compare u of ix comma i and u of ix comma i minus 1 to check the uh, to to find the value of s of i right? so that was your solution the problem uh, so now there is also a problem with this solution also why so because you are iterating so let let give you an example for this so let, let's assume your string is cyclic let's assume your string is cyclic up to z a b c d up to z so so whenever you will try to find value of a here whenever you will try to find value of a here you will iterate over every previous index right so it will be 26 iterations similarly for b you will iterate over every last occurrence of every alphabet you will have, you will iterate over every last occurrence of every al al alphabet so again it will be 26 iterations similarly for c similarly for d and for every letter so in total you will do n into 26 query twos right you will ask are uh, you you will ask query two and into 26 times so that is uh, that is more than your number of queries right so totally you can ask 6000 queries but if you ask n into uh, 1000 queries your n is 1000 at, at, at max and if you ask 20, 26 into n queries you can ask 26000 queries which is more than 6000 right which is more than 6000 so you have to further optimize this you have to further optimize this so how can you optimize this further so let, let me draw it out so if you have a b c uh, z and d and here you have the character s of i which is equal to c so if you write for every letter the relation if you compare for every letter this is i1 this is i2 this is i3 this is i4 this is i5 if you compare for every letter the relation u of ix comma i and u of ix comma is equal to equal to u of i x comma i minus one then these will not obey the relation it will say no it will say a no this will say yes this will also say yes this will also say yes so now i think you will be able to see the pattern here right there is a there is a clear line between yes and no right so you can use binary search on this you can use binary search to find to find this boundary to find this boundary and the closest alphabet to this boundary will be your answer right so now your number of queries will be log of 26 into 1000 which is less than 6000 so it should work now right yeah so if you want to see the code for this here is my code let me maximize it so here is my string 
so here i'm keeping a map to keep the last index of every uh, every alphabet uh, so i initialize my s of 0 you using a query once because you have no information about s of 0 right so you have to use a query of type 1 there so you, you will use a query of type 1 there and you set last seen of s of 0 is equal to 0 then you will start iterating over every index from i to n and first of all you will use a query of type 2 to check if uh, if the character s of i is new or you have seen it so if it is uh, so if it is new then you can use a query of type 1 there query of type 1 to guess s of i otherwise you will use last occurrence right otherwise you will use last occurrence uh, and using binary search like i told you right you can keep low equal to 0 high is equal to 0 dot size minus 1 my v stores my last occurrence index right so i will run a binary search on it uh, to try to find equivalent character right so here I, here so here I, I am comparing my query to that is uh, my so if you want to see here this is equivalent to u of i x comma i and equal to this is u of i x comma i minus one right? so if you want to see here the following condition right so in the binary research i am comparing the following following condition to find this border to find this border right here it is and i am i am using a following condition to find this border in the binary search so that will be a solution and if you want to see the code you can go to my code process and you can see the code there yeah so that was it for the video and if you guys have a doubt do let me know in the comments and i will be happy to help you out also if you guys don't know continue newton school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs and the average package is rupees seven lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also you don't need to worry if you guys think ki yeah mujhe coding aati nahi hai maybe fresher mein koi bilkul nahi aata the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye